cross and Christ are inseparable. Today's first reading, the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 3, verse 18 says, For many as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Dear brothers and dear sisters, often we want to be the friends of the crucified, but we don't want his cross. In fact, Cross and Christ are inseparable. Saint Augustine says, The cross is the wedding bed of Christ. And so, how to be faithful to this wedding bed of Christ, that is the cross? One of the answers is given by Saint Charles Borromeo, whose memory we celebrate today, who lived in the 16th century he is the patron of the catechists and the bishops. He was a great uh, personality during the Catholic Reformation. So he says, one of the answers is prayer. I read his quotation. We must meditate before, during and after everything we do. This is the way we can easily overcome the countless difficulties we have to face day after day which, after all, are part of our work. In meditation, we find the strength to bring Christ to birth in ourselves and in others. And that's what we find in the book of Tobit, chapter the 8, verses 4 and the following. Tobias, as he was uniting with his wife Sarah, he began this life journey with prayer. And so he prays. Tobias calls Sarah and he says, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Then he begins prayer and asks the Lord, Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. Dear brothers and dear sisters, many a times we are happy to embrace Christ alone and not his cross. And of course, we cannot embrace Christ alone and leave the cross out. Rather, we have to embrace both together. And this is possible by means of prayer. And at this juncture, I remember the words of our beloved Pope Francis, who says, When we walk without the cross, when we build without the cross, and when we proclaim Christ without the cross, we are not disciples of the Lord. We are worldly. We may be bishops, priests, cardinals, popes, and I add religious and Christians. All of this, but we are not disciples of the Lord. Dear brothers and dear sisters, let us conduct ourselves not as enemies of Christ, rather the lovers of the cross of Christ. May God help us, may God bless us to embrace our day-to-day -day cross with meaning and with greater love. Amen.